And by the way, if you want to do another chart of when you saw the spike in border crossings, because it was down to record numbers under George W. George W. Bush and President Obama, it spiked again because of COVID. COVID is the spike. Again, you just look at the chart. All of these crises that Donald Trump inherited a strong, growing economy and managed to ruin it by ruining, by, by messing up his one crisis, which was COVID, which is why the border went crazy. It's why inflation went crazy. All of those crises Joe Biden has had to fix. Joe Biden's job creation rate is second only to Bill Clinton. <laughs> He's not only done, you know, fixed it, he's actually been more successful as a domestic policy president than any modern president. All of the things Donald Trump is trying to take credit for on the campaign trail are Biden things. And Biden needs to run out there and take credit for it. Well, critiques a common narrative that attributes economic challenges, border issues and inflation solely to Donald Trump's handling of the COVID-19 crisis. It argues that this perspective oversimplifies the complexities involved, dismissing other relevant factors. Critics Conan, that focusing solely on Trump, neglects his economic and border security initiatives. The analysis emphasizes the significance of leadership decisions during crises, asserting that leaders play a crucial role in managing the impact on various societal facets. Blaming Joe Biden exclusively for the challenges may overlook the broader context and collaborative efforts of different administrations. The article advocates for a balanced perspective that recognizes both positive contributions and the foundational work of preceding administrations.